Hi, I'm Elizabeth, owner of Kitty's Lou, and if you are watching this video, then you are wanting to know how to toilet train your cat by using my product Kitty's Lou. I'm going to demonstrate for you that step by step right now. Here we have a big litter box. Now, if you have one of these and you want to train your cat by using Kitty's Lou, then uh, we cannot use this box, okay? I have heard of some customers putting Kitty's Lou on a big box like this. It's not gonna work, I'll show you. And my cat wants to join me. Hello, Alex. Okay, so we have the product, and no, it's, this is not the proper way. So remember, if you're using uh, Kitty's Lou, you want to train your cat by using Kitty's Lou, guess what? You're gonna have to downsize. That's the whole point of this, is downsizing. So, I recommend purchasing a litter tray small little litter box like this okay so once your cat is used to using the small litter box because you're going to get rid of this big guy you're going to have them transition to a pellet type litter because this has holes in it okay you do not want any of the clay litter falling into your toilet and causing havoc so what you want to do is use a i recommend paper pellet litter or my dog wants to get in here. Hi, sweetheart. Or a crystal type. This is um, silica type of gel, and it's kind of uh, looks like little crystals. Okay, so you could use that as well. All right, so set Kitty's Lou on your litter tray. Now, if you have a kitten, you want to use it with the litter bowl. If not, your cat can use it right here so they can access the litter from the hole, okay? So, you'll have that for a couple of days, maybe even a week. Make sure that they are very comfortable in using Kitty's Lou on the litter box. And if they're missing, you know, just make sure you clean it up really good, all right? So, when you get to that point and they are ready to now use the toilet, Kitty's Lou comes with grip pads, okay? You match the grip pads up to the seat so that it will not slip. So I, I already have these on here. So you want to make sure they meet the seat, okay? So it grips the toilet the seat and it's not going to slide. So when your cat does hop on, it's not going to be sliding anywhere, okay? Now, you will fill the bowl up with your now pellet type of litter. Now if your cat is like it will not use any other litter than what it's using, I recommend using a coffee filter. A paper, co a paper coffee filter will fit in here. Just cut the paper to where it fits and use their litter. But if you know it's best to use the pellet litter. But make sure if you are using the other litter that's going to fall through. Even a corn litter may fall through as well. So use a paper filter. Now, with every use, you're going to want to taper the amount of litter down with each cleaning and make sure you keep the bowl clean, the seat clean, and clean the toilet bowl as well. But then after they are now litter free, keep them with the bowl for maybe uh, another day or two, but then remove it and then your cat is now 100% litter free. If they, you feel they need to go back a step, it's very easy to go back a step. Okay, so just know that your cat's behavior is most important to follow, you know, what they're doing, their behavior during the day, when they eat, when they go, and uh, you should be good to go. Now, if there's any questions, you can always go to the website, kitteslou.com, and there will be a link at the bottom of the uh, video in the description, okay? My name's Elizabeth, and I thank you for watching.